Good afternoon, everybody. How are we doing? Good. Good. Right on. We would like everybody to join in a group. So for the non-conformists out there, I'm really sorry, uh, but we're going to have both individual and group exercises today so we can tap into the collective wisdom of everybody. So we'd really appreciate it if you could join one of the tables. There's some empty seats up here, um, and there's a table back here. So thank you all for coming. Um, in order to get this thing kicked off, Invite uh, Jeff up to uh, share his thoughts. Thank you all so much for coming. Well, uh, good afternoon. Um, we did the same presentation this morning, and it reminds me a little bit about what um, Elizabeth Taylor's seventh husband said on the wedding night. Honey, I know what I have to do. The only question is, can I make it interesting? <laughs> so that, that's what I have to do. So um, why are you all here? I mean, that's a good, good question. Uh, the group this morning, by the way, they voted to have uh, Walmart and um, all of the big box all over the... Uh, um, and they said the group in this afternoon would absolutely go along with that. And all we need was a vote. And, and is, that, is that what I'm hearing at the town center? Uh, you want? Yeah, you don't want that? Well, that's what the team this morning said, guys. That's why I should come. Anyway, you're gonna, the deal here is we're going to ask you to work. And we're going to ask you to dig very deeply into your, uh, we're going to go through an exercise of asking you to talk about it, your feelings about what experiences you had with various uh, town centres, civic centres, and things like that. Um, I, I shared with the group this morning a little personal experience I had here on Mount House. It really sort of says a lot about your community. And who was living here in 2008? Anybody remember the New York Times article? Yes. I do. Uh, Mountain House, most depressed um, community in the United States. A um, lot of reasons, picked up by a lot of blogs, a lot of newspapers. About the same time, I was um, traveling through Mountain House with a colleague, and I saw something which was at the same time just very usual, but very uh, indicative of, of your community. I don't remember what street it was on, I don't remember what neighborhood it was in, but there was a gentleman, middle of the day, middle of the week, and he was mowing the lawn in front of his house. And he cleaned it up, and this was a street where there was foreclosures everywhere. And he cleaned up that, his own house. But what he did was very interesting. He went next door, and he cleaned up that as well. And then he went further up, and he cleaned up the whole street. Now a cynic could argue, that that was vested self-interest. He was doing it to, to, to preserve his own property values. Having known the community, I think it was something much more pervasive. And it told me something about your community, what people cared about you. And amongst other things, nobody here read the New York Times. If they do, they use it to cap that. It was, it was good for one purpose. But that told me a lot about um, what the community is about. We, we are, in the end, um, we're going to be all gone in five to ten years, us developers, this group over here. And this is going to be your community. It's going to be your town centre. It's going to be where your 4th of July parade is, or the TED Park, something like that. And so don't diminish what this is about. This is where your governance is, where your children, your grandchildren, it's a very important process. A lot of people ask me this morning, why now? What's happened? Two months ago, we got control of the retail site. We bought the owner of the retail site. So we're now able to, the group up here, is now able to plan the town center and the retail with the help of the community and create this center, this core of your community. It's 
that's why it's important, that's why we're in the process. Um, we'll talk a little bit about what happens after today. Um, we'll go away and prepare two or three different plans. On November the 16th, we'll come back for another meeting with the same group and take all your feedback today and incorporate it into those plans. And then finally, sometime in January, uh, we'll come back with a final plan that we'll show you and, and we'll start to really talk about when this can happen and, and what, I mean, everybody, nobody wants to, nobody wants the supermarket to be cares that, what, you know what I mean? You're happy going over the Tracy, is that what I heard this morning? Mm. No. That's what we're going to do. Let me make some introductions to you from my office, from Morgan and Melinda Sward, and from Shay Holmes, who uh, manages the project for us on behalf of Calvin's, Lane Marceau, and Dave Sarge. Let me turn it over to uh, from. First of all, I'd like to thank all of you for coming out. I know that Saturday afternoons are precious, especially when you have a family and work during the week. And so we really appreciate it. We had a wonderful crowd this morning. Nearly 150 people of your neighbors came out to help us talk about Mountain House and what we want to accomplish in the town center. So thank you again. I appreciate your participation. We also have some folks here that I'd like to acknowledge. Uh, some of our community leaders from the CSD, we have several board members, including Andy Sue, Jim Lamb. Uh, Bernice came back this afternoon with us. Thank you, Bernice. And Celeste was here with us this morning. We also have some of our CSD staff, Morgan Gruber, Donna Schmeichel from, from the staff are here with us. And I want to take a, a moment to thank also Jan McClintock, who could not be here with us today. But Jan, the UCSD general manager, has been very instrumental in helping us formulate and plan this event. And uh, she's a great general manager. I think she's going to do great things for the community. We also have some school district board members with us today. Dr. Nicholas was here with us this morning. Matt Balzarini in the back. Sharon Rampoff. Shane Nelson. Shane's here. And David, Dave Pompa. Yes, and Matt, Matt's in the back there with us. Thank you guys for joining us. Uh, we also have, or at least to have, our supervisor, Bob Elliott, from the County of San Juan Keys, here with us. Bob, thank you for joining us. Your involvement is also very important. Well, thank you, Ron. Uh, it's a real pleasure for me to be here uh, for this important event where we get to discuss what the Mountain House Town Center uh, is going to look like in the future. So it's a beautiful day to be here in Mountain House, um, and it's wonderful to see so many of you that have come out to give your opinions and your input on just what you would like your town center to look like. Uh, you know, it's a great time here in, uh, in Mountain House. It's an exciting time. We've got lots of things happening here. Residential development is starting to uh, resurgence now. We've got the, the high school is almost finished. Two more elementary schools uh, in the pipeline. So lots of things happening. Now it's time to look at a little bit of the commercial side uh, and try to bring some economic development here as well. So to that end, uh, I've also organized a meeting next week uh, in Stockton to bring some of the stock of the, uh, the key stakeholders together uh, who uh, have an interest in the economic development uh, here in Mountain House to see if we can uh, move that process along and get some positive things happening in that uh, area as well. So again, it's great to see so many of you here to uh, help determine what the future of your town center will look like. Uh, it's a pleasure to be able to, be able to uh, participate uh, in the uh, future of Mountain House. Thank you. And Supervisor Elliott is undertaking this economic development effort, so support him in that. I'm sure you want some more comments as well. So right now I'd like to turn it over to Lane Marceau with Shay Holmes, who's going to tell us a little bit more about that. Thank you, Fran. Uh, just real quick, just to give you some context of the area that we're referring to. Uh, we talked about the town center. Hopefully you can see this okay, but uh, here is the existing phase one of the Central Park. 
uh, where we'll now the extension of this, which is kind of your temporary parking lot for the park, that would be Main Street. Uh, so we're really referring to this area here as being the town center. I'm going to go to uh, this bubble diagram that we have. This actually was prepared in 1994 as a planning document. Um, and so, you know, a 20 year old uh, plan doesn't necessarily work uh, today for Mountain House. So, what we're able to do uh, today, as you'd like to undertake with your help, is how do we go about focusing a lot of the uses that were originally planned for, but how are we going to orientate them and what are they going to look and feel like? So, uh, if, you, if you look at the, the plan that was developed then, and I think Jeff, in his opening comments, mentioned this commercial site here, that's a, a prime site that has always been targeted by. Uh, grocery store, Anchor grocery store, and we only in the last few months now have control of that. We have bought it to try on. So that is one of the reasons why we're kind of advancing uh, this whole effort. But it is, we focus on both uh, the, the grocery store opportunities, but even more importantly, what is the experience going to be like here in the town center? And that's what you're all going to be helping with us today. Um, currently, this mixed-use area, this would, this would really plan for the area where we have the neighborhood serving retail. This would be the experience where you go down to your local deli, coffee shop, you know, bakery, and enjoy your time. But we want to talk about what do those elements uh, really look like for your community in the future. And then when it talks to these public areas, the, uh, currently it's programmed for a civic center, a community center, which would, could or would include a pool. Uh, a library, and then uh, in this area here, where it's called public, that's actually planned for a church. Um, all of these uses, all surrounded by what will ultimately be phases two and three of your community park. Phase one has already been uh, developed, and then we still have two phases. But how the public space, how the community rec center may be incorporated with the community park, are they adjacent? How do they complement each other? Along with other uses, how would the library of today look and feel as compared to the library that might have been envisioned in 1994? Think about in 20 years how libraries have changed just because of technology. A traditional library 20 years ago, which is just basically you know, square foot of the books as compared to today, really focusing on the advancements of technology. How do you hopefully, maybe not even call it a library, maybe it's more of the Education Center, or there's we think of other names that would probably more appropriately speak to the experience we would expect today when you think of a library of the future. Uh, so today we really want to brainstorm with you and, uh, and, and to speak to what you, you all see as the important elements that would be uh, part of your, your downtown experience. Uh, so to help us with that, uh, we have Rob and Judy here, uh, and they are going to be facilitating the rest of the afternoon with you. So please be open-minded, be willing to uh, uh, do a little work this, for the most of uh, the rest of the day. It's going to be about all of you uh, helping us better understand what your needs are for the future. So thank you. Thank you, Wayne. So good afternoon. Uh, my name is Rob Ray, and my colleague Sue Dyer and I are here to help all your best ideas. Thanks. So today is a great opportunity. It's a really exciting time for Mountain House. Finally, it's time to start planning what the town center, what the, the future of the community is going to be like. And today is going to be some parts creative and some parts a sharing opportunity. So in order to do that, it's really important to feel like this is a space where we can share good ideas. Fear and trust cannot coexist at the same time. If we're afraid, we will not feel like we can share company. So I want everybody here to commit that this is going to be a place that you can come up with dumb ideas. This is an opportunity to brainstorm. Okay? And when we brainstorm, we come up with our ideas first. So, here's some ground rules, some thoughts that we had. First, this is an opportunity to share openly. This is your opportunity to talk about what you envision the future of Mountain House will be like. 
Second, judgments are not allowed. In order to feel like you are not judged, it's important. You want to feel like you can share your own version, your own experience, okay? And so we need to respect others' opinions. We need your best dumb ideas and questions. When you're brainstorming, when you're being creative, there isn't such, there's not a dumb idea. Because sometimes, even after, from the crazy idea that seems way out of left field, there's a little nugget, there's a kernel in there that you can use and incorporate. And that could end up being part of our plan for the future, okay? The next thing, you might have noticed the acoustics in this room, things kind of bounce around a bit. You're gonna have opportunities to share at your table. You're also gonna have opportunities to share with the whole group. And so, as a result, we're going to need you to respect the old rule that you listen with two ears and talk with one, right? We're gonna to need to make sure that one person is talking at a time and we respect them. The other piece, please take out your cell phone and if you can afford to, turn it off. If you can't, turn it to stun so it's on vibrate so we won't be hearing beeps. Um, we all know that you have emergencies. Um, and that is just fine. We're taking time out of your Saturday. But if you're going to answer a call, we'd really appreciate it if you could take it outside so we can stay focused in the group in here. Sound good? I forgot a roll, didn't I? Which one? Have fun. Have fun! Yeah, today's supposed to be fun. It's a creative time, all right? So we're going to have a good time, like it or not. All right? Sound good? This is the gal you've got to keep an eye on. She's our social media lady. So when anything goes wrong, blame her. If it goes right, I get the credit. All right. Um, the website. Uh, and we will have some schemes, uh, schematic and conceptual plans to show you with all of the input um, that you've provided us. I do want to caution that we still have to act in a regulatory environment. So a lot of what we can do and can't do is going to be influenced by building and zoning regulations in the county. But I was uh, chatting to my friend and supervisor at Open Peter, Mr. Elliott, and I told him that if this group wants to move to um, modify anything, we will be marching on uh, county hall to get that done. So we've got to keep that in mind. We also have to keep in mind that in the end, these public facilities are going to be owned by you, and they're going to have to be paid for on a maintenance basis. So we've got to be, keep in mind that these are costs to doing this. So Develop these plans. Where, 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 where. So the obvious question that everybody's asking is, when is this going to occur? The answer to it is as soon as humanly possible. There is nobody more motivated than this group and me to get this town centre and the retail complex done. We have some hoops to jump through, um, but we're going to do them. But here's what I commit to: you all got a pen? Write this number down. You got it. 949-274-9314. You all got it? 949-274-9314. It's my personal cell phone number. Wow. So if that's not a commitment that you can get a hold of me and ask me any time of the day what's going on, I've given it to you. I also have a stack of business cards up here that you can take, and I put it Harry Truman say, the buck stops here, you got it. So we're committed to do it, we've got to get through some hurdles, we'll keep you up to date, but we promise you we want to get it done. Let me leave you with this thought. When most of us move to communities where I live in Orange County, all of the decisions about that community, where the parks are, where the streets are, where the library is, were made a hundred years ago. I had no say in it. In other communities, the developer makes all of those decisions before you move in. You have an opportunity which is so rare and so unique to participate in 
and the creation of your town center. Let me leave you with that thought. Thank you all for coming. Yes, sir. We don't know yet. We, we don't know yet. But, but okay. If that worked, this worked for everybody in the night, it's split it up. November 16th is the Mountain House High School launch in the morning. Linda? Tell them we'll get back. Let's put, we'll get back and we'll put something on the good, good call thing. We've already set that up with the contractors. Okay. Thank you all very much. I appreciate it.